Hi, welcome to this three minute review and today we're going to be looking at the psychology that underpins moral decision making. Okay, so moral psychology may not be one of the sexy subjects that you come to YouTube to hear about, but it does underpin most things that I and many others discuss. I'm going to be focused on Jonathan Haidt's moral foundations theory in this video and I'll make sure to put a few links in the description to supplement what I'm saying here. Moral foundations theory is built on three core principles. So the first is that moral reasoning happens intuitively first and that verbal reasoning happens second, acting almost like a justification of your intuitions. Let's have a look at how this works. Take a couple of seconds to read this story and notice the automatic gut reactions that you have to it. Haidt and his colleagues have found that people make fast moral judgments about this, with people being quick to say that Julie and Mark are doing something wrong. It's self-evidently wrong because of how the scenario makes you feel, right? That said, when pressed for a justification of their judgments, people struggle to come up with reasons. After all, several forms of birth control are used, and the pair are seemingly enjoying what's going on in their experience, even if they do decide to just do it the once. The second principle of moral foundations theory is that morality is made up of several... Uh, foundational constructs, which are on the screen now. These were put together by Jonathan Haidt and Craig Joseph in the mid-2000s, with liberty being added uh, later in 2012. The theoretical basis for these ideas comes from evolutionary psychology and cross-cultural psychology, meaning that these constructs are said to describe universal moral concerns. And the first one, care, refers to the innate desire to protect one's own children from harm. This stems from their inherent vulnerability and the position of caregivers to act as protectors. Nowadays, this concept has expanded to include a desire to protect anyone who is towards the bottom of the social ladder. Fairness is an interesting concept that means different things to different people. At its heart, fairness is all about justice, but as we know, true justice and social justice are often at odds with each other. To some, fairness is indicated by everyone having the same opportunities, while to others, if people have different outcomes, then this is a sign of systemic unfairness. This difference between equality of opportunity versus equality of outcomes is something that I'll explore further in another video soon. The Authority Foundation refers to our evolutionary history of having hierarchies in our social interaction. For example, many would argue that having nobody in charge is not in the best interest of a healthy and functioning society. That said, at the same time, having a dictator calling the shots at the expense of everybody else may not be someone's idea of fun either. The Loyalty Foundation stems from our innate drive to form tribes and strong social connections. We have a long history of forming such groups and continue to do so today through our religious communities and even supporting our favourite sporting teams. Purity relates to our evolutionary drive to avoid things that are contagious or would otherwise contaminate our bodies. In more recent times though, the Purity Foundation has become linked with a range of social issues and specifically relates to things that some people find disgusting, like alternative forms of sexual expression for example. The final moral foundation is liberty, which refers to our desire to be free from external control. Types of liberty that are important to different people are lifestyle liberty, where people are free to act in a way that they want, and also economic liberty, where people can keep hold of their money and spend it in the ways that they seem fit. And finally, the third principle of moral foundations theory is that the importance of each foundation does vary between people, and this produces an individual political approach to the world within each person. As you can see, those who identify as being politically liberal, though they may be better described as leftists in some situations, typically place higher moral value on care and fairness than the rest of the foundations, while those who identify as being politically conservative more or less equally value all of the moral foundations. So the next time you're trying to figure out why you think something is immoral and others just don't, remember, maybe their moral intuitions are calibrated slightly differently to yours. It's by understanding these differences that we'll begin to heal the wounds of the political polarisation that's currently eating away our societies. If you found this helpful, then please do subscribe to the channel below, or you can also join the conversation on Twitter at CraigHarper19 and also on Facebook, so that's uh, facebook.com slash Craig Harper Psychology. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.